Scorpio, baby, what is going on, my dears? It is me, it is she, it is Vera. It is Scorpio Reds Tarot. I am back at again one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let my babies know what the energy is surrounding you for the month of April 2020. Show me the money energy. Yes, God, all right? I hope everybody is in safekeeping. Shout out to every last one of my babies who's been showing any type of support and love. We got a lot of decks. You guys, this month, I literally... I have, I'm kind of going old school because back in the day, I used to have like eight to ten different decks laid out. And sometimes I would read all of the decks. Sometimes I just pick wherever God is pulling me to. So I have eight different decks here. Um, I have some type of circular vision type of energy going on over here. And over here I have like a whole bunch of lemon light. I don't know. Whatever. Listen. So we got a whole bunch of... New decks that were sent in by you guys from the Amazon wish list. I want to thank every last one of you guys that has made a purchase and sent over this energy um, through these decks. These decks are amazing. We got the Circle of Life Tarot, which is brand new. Uh, the Star Seat Oracle. No, this is brand new. Okay. I think this just came out. This just got released. So thank you guys so much for sending over the Star Seat Oracle. And then I have the uh, Modern Witches uh, Tarot deck, which y'all have probably seen already, but it is most definitely fairly new. So I want to thank you guys so much for all of this energy. And I'm also using here, what is this? The, um, the Archetypes uh, Oracle deck as well. So thank you guys so much for all of the love and the wisdom and the positive energy that you guys send over through the Amazon wish list and all the different forms of support. If you guys want to book a personal private reading, the only thing you have to do is click the about tab. Um, send me a message on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, you can um, download this app called Google Hangouts and just use my email which is scorpionred to gmail.com and you can use that email if these videos resonate and you want to reach out to me personally just to say thank you to Go, you know, personally tell me your story if you don't feel comfortable to leave, you know, information down in the comments. Um, don't ever feel shy to reach out to me because I have a very big family. And shout out to all my masculines out there. I've been getting in a lot of connection with a lot of um, my divine, uh, divine masculine energy. So shout out to all my strong brothers out there. Y'all know that this is y'all takeover season. So I want to say big shout out to all of you guys, especially my Scorpio brothers. Oh, shout out to my baby. Um, um, Phoenix Reigns. I have not heard from him in a minute. I want to give a big shout out to my one of my kings that's in my tribe. So um, let's give blessings. Let's give praise. Let's give acknowledgement to the creator as we always do. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Scorpio. Thank you so much for keeping us here in its place of just like abundance and happiness and good health, Father God. Even for those that felt like they might have came over a little sinus cold, a little pressure pain, a little sickness. Our determination to not let no illness touch our soul, touch our body, Father God. We are fighting all of this bull crap. We're not even listening to that foolishness on the news because we know to protect our mind is to protect our soul father god so we're not trying to let none of that um internet sickness you know penetrate our bubble father god we are focused on our family we are in our house cooking we are having fun we playing games and connect for and uno and stuff with our family and our friends we are just like you know living life and even though we're in this quarantine, we're not focused on no money because the same way we're in this situation, everybody else in the world is in the same situation, so they got to help us. You understand what I'm saying? And everybody here is collectively in the same boat, so we're not going to worry. God got us, and we're going to keep our head up. And like the Scorpios that we are, we, have, we know how to maintain that pressure and always bring forth the light. So that's what we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? We're going to show people how to survive, how to do it with your head held, how to have fun. You know? So, <coughs> shout out to all my Scorpios. Shout out to all my babies that know how to withstand this pressure and know how strong you are. So, all my visionaries, all my leaders, so, all my fighters. So, we're going to continue to deliver success in your name and victory has our name on it, Father God. We claim it. Amen. Please give us guidance for the sign of Scorpio for April. Thank you so much for today and every day. Amen again. Let's get into this. So, 
for whatever reason. They want to get straight into the tarot with Scorpio. <laughs> Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get straight into the tarot. Let's get, because I, back in the day, I used to just go straight off the bench into the tarot. And I would do the um, Oracle Secondary. So, let's do this old school. We got Scorpio. It's like, so let's, let's, fuck all the bullshit. Let's get to the message. Woo! Good gracious. Oh, start right off with the death card. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, Miss Pam. We do like green eggs and ham. We come through to bring death and light, honey. Death and light. Listen, that's why you see where... Okay, see, the thing is that people... Oh, yes, ma'am. And what is this under here? The star? Yes, we know exactly who we are, baby. Yes, we're going to go ahead and put that right there. So, we got the death card. And the thing that I wanted to point out is even though when death comes and knocks on people's doorsteps... It's bringing a pure flower. So, in death does not mean what people think that it means. It just means that you have to let go and release something that you were trying so hard to hold on. That it is no longer pleasing to your soul or pleasing to helping the growth of your energy right now. It does not mean a physical death, you guys. You understand what I'm saying? So, I feel like there's been certain things that you guys have gone accustomed to that you really, you know, you realize that you need to release and let go of. Um, mm. And it looks like somebody lost their crown. Somebody might have lost their crown. But I see the sun shining. I see... Look, you see the, You see how the child is off. Look, the babies know. Y'all pay attention to your babies. The baby know. You see how the baby is offering the reaper a flower? The grandmother is like, thank God you came when you did. It was like whoever this is that lost their crown and is laying on that floor. Grandma been praying over y'all like please let somebody come and remove this shit because this one just don't know how to let go. And the baby is already spiritually aligned and, and in tune with everything. The baby is like here you go. Like I've been waiting for you. Like the baby already knew. The baby already knew. So somebody had to fall. Somebody had to fall. Somebody had to fall. Somebody's parent was tired of watching someone being stuck to this phone, waiting for messages, waiting to receive some type of communication for someone to step up and to stand in a role and to be responsible. Like this person has <clears throat> been through many, 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 many situations, many phases and many stages with whoever this person is. I feel like waiting for some communication um looking for some type of clarity some type of truth some type of insight in this and this person might have been searching the phone scavenging the internet and things like that and it's like enough is enough enough is enough this person finally realized i'm not gonna find what i'm searching for and at the end of the day i'm just sitting here hurting myself with my family letting them see me lay here on the floor and go through this so it's time to get up and it's time to get over that shit it's like the hard times is over the death has came to the situation to bring a pure light, to bring purity, so that people can stop being attached to this device. It's like someone was like searching high and low, <clears throat> almost a reluctancy of letting go and just letting something live so that they can see a new day, a new light, and start a new beginning. But it's like... Their family and even their children had to pray for this new day to come. You know what I'm saying? This new dawn, this new birth. You know what I'm saying? This person had to be removed for everybody's sake, you know? Because someone just had a reluctancy to let go. The seven of wands. You're tough and you know that you're battle strong and that you can defend yourself and that you're willing and able to defeat them all. And that's the thing about the Scorpio. It's like... We're not scared. We don't back down from nobody. You know what I'm saying? We have a uh, relentlessness that can be very good, but that can be very bad as well. You know what I'm saying? Very bad as well. It's time to stop trying to defeat all of these people that you've seen and you thought of as enemies. All of this gossip, all of these naysayers. It's like, um, even in your pursuit after 
you've removed yourself from this third party situation you no longer are searching for this information you're no longer trying to hurt but it's even trying to defeat the naysayers and the enemies and the things that you consider the naysayers and the enemies from the situation in the past like trying to prove them wrong and 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 things it's like even just stop doing that so it's like the death to the looking for answers the looking for clarity trying to defend yourself trying to upstage motherfuckers to show people uh you shouldn't have left me because this is you know so you can still even be verbally combative online you know what i'm saying with like little slick little memes and little things like that just like still in some type of way just fighting but kind of fighting alone do you understand what i'm saying it's like having something to prove you know having to show people it's like i want you guys to understand what i'm saying you can Walk away from you can call the depth to something. You could walk away, and I'm and I'm saying this because I've done this, and I had to learn this on my own. I seriously had to learn this on my own. I could break up with someone, walk away from them, and focus on myself to try to get myself better. But I have to do it for me. I can't do it to piss someone off like yeah i'm gonna get my shit together i'm gonna totally re remake myself i'm gonna be successful because i'm gonna piss these motherfuckers off like fuck these bitches and it's like every time you post and stuff every time that you saying something that you doing something it's like hmm look at these diamonds hmm look at me now like hmm yeah motherfuckers wish hmm uh you know you know like that little snide slick ass shit and it's just like who you fighting with like who you trying to like, who are you even talking to? You know what I'm saying? It's like some way of the death of the animosity in the hurt and even trying to search and figure out why did this person do this? You know what I'm saying? And competing with yourself to be better than your old self. For any other reason then that's what you want to do to make you a better you not to piss other motherfuckers off do y'all follow me okay because at the end of the day even though you released yourself from it you're not there anymore you can still operate like someone who's still hurt like someone who ain't pull them swords out you know because it's 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 like that don't even look like blood that look like tar almost like even if you was to try to pull those star uh those swords out they might be stuck like someone put some tar or some putty around it so as soon as it dried you like you can never pull those swords out of your heart and it's like i don't want you to be that type of person scorpio it's time to and i feel like that's what this elder is praying for and that's what the children are praying for to like Allow this thing to finally be released so this person can like wash away all of those thoughts and you're doing good and you look damn good. You know what I'm saying? But compete with nobody but yourself and you don't have to defend yourself. And we already know that you're not going back down from nothing and nobody. But this is this is a fight that you're fighting with yourself and you just need to stop fighting. We really need to get those swords out of your heart. And your heart needs to completely get prepared so that it can heal. You know what I'm saying? Like it really just needs to heal because even in your action, sometimes it could be the action of a wounded warrior who don't know how. And don't realize that they're not even in the fight anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? What is this? The river. Yeah. Your emotions. Look in the river. Or look in. You can even look in your bathtub water. Look at your reflection. You know what I'm saying? You have changed so much. And look, you see where that must you see that Mustang right there? Oh, baby, you got horsepower. We already know the strength and the power and the determination of a Scorpio. You are unstoppable once your river, you know. And then this is the Gnosis. The Gnosis means the unknown. 
if I, if my memory serves me correct, but just let me go for a second off of this. Don't ever let your river run dry. Don't ever let your river run dry because at the end of the day, you have to be who you are. We are very much so like people would confuse a Scorpio with like a fire sign or something like that because when we really be on our shit, we're unstoppable. Can't nobody tell us nothing. You can't beat us. You can't intimidate us. Like, we know our power. We know our strength, even being a water sign. Do you understand? But at the same time, it's like, we most definitely do get drowned in our emotions. And we do let our emotions lead us sometimes. That's why it's like, don't allow your river to run dry where it's nothing but swords and piercing energy you know what i'm saying you have to allow that water to flow in like a very healthy way because what you can't nothing could grow without water but water can flood the earth and it can kill everything do you understand what i'm saying it has to be a healthy balance of water do you understand we need enough water for love to flow for a beautiful energy to flow to give nourishment to everything in the environment not to overflow with emotions and fucking flood out the earth and just drown and everything sink into the abyss you know um no one ever really knows what's going to happen today or tomorrow but as you can see that bird just like the falcon which is i believe the falcon is another one of the scorpion um spirit animal as is the snake as is the phoenix we have very various different phases and i want y'all to google the phases of the scorpio right now it's our time to it's about our action right now. And I want whatever this, this putty, this, whatever this bullshit is. Because I don't think I've seen the Three of Swords um, energy in all of readings in almost a solid year. You know what I'm saying? But in some type of way, it's like your defense. It's like your defense mechanism is geared off of this hurt energy from lessons from past years and you don't really know you really don't know what God has in store from you so it's time to switch up the defense because I don't feel like we gotta fight we look too good to be out here fighting do you understand what I'm saying like we literally look too good to be out this bitch fighting bruh and it's like a mm -mm. Mm -mm. We look too fucking good to be out here fighting. That ain't, that's not what we supposed to be doing right here. Let me see the gnosis. Where is that, baby? Yeah, the innermost knowing, the mystic truths. It says, contemplate in the mystery unanswerable questions. Yeah. So, and then it also said in a low vibration, the Gnosis means unable to find the answers and looking for others to give you information that is within your own self. And that's why I said with this Ten of Swords in the reverse right here, like you guys could have been like taking a longer time to kind of let go looking for another a, a different source to give you the truth or the answers or you know some type of information that it, it like can't nobody give you like the key secret potion or remedy or thing for you to do to let go and stop thinking about something that hurt you in the past it's within you to stop looking you know what I'm saying? You can fight and you can battle against anything else. Battle within yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's that's that Scorpio shit. Like, and y'all, you strong enough to do it. So it's like, come on now, mama ain't raised no punk bitch. You already know what it, you already know what time it is, baby. You know what I'm saying? Then we got the Kairos. What's the Kairos mean? I forgot, honey. I'm sorry, y'all. This is a new. Mystic time, synchronicity. It says we have all had the experience of timelessness, of life beyond the ticking of the clock. It may be felt as time is standing still, slow motion, or losing track 
of time or on a walk in a lovingly conversation. This is known as the mystic time and is the territory of the Kairos. This card suggests that there is a secondary time continuum that goes beyond the earthly clocks and schedules within this non-linear realm. We access divine timing. A single moment ripens with auspiciousness and our actions change the trajectory of our whole life. Time becomes a living thing that watches over us and tells us precisely when to speak or to act. This card appears when it's all about patience and precision. No clock can guide you. Wait for the rush of inner knowing and not a moment longer. This means alignment, the ease of decision and actions. When in dark, it means fighting against the time. So, again, like I said, again, like I said, not searching for someone to give you information that you have yet been privy to when everything is already privy within your own mind. You know, everything happen for a reason and that's something that you gotta know you know like there's a world within this world that's in this world do you understand and everything happens in divine timing so it's something about someone being stuck in the past instead of Someone being stuck in the past and being comfortable with just kind of laying there and defending and having this defensive action in living in this existence instead of stepping into the unknown and understand that God is watching all and God know exactly what he's doing. And even though this shit hurts you, it's not for you to lay there. It's time to get up. You understand? And it's time to fight a new fight. Pull that shit out of your heart and allow your heart to heal. And it's time to get going. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's time to walk into the unknown. And that's one thing that the Scorpios is and should and always have been good at you know what i'm saying so like it's time to like really be scorpio oh gosh so this is what the knight of wands it's time to take like action now not right now, but right now, right now. You know what i'm saying like this man got his warrior clothes on and this is a shaman in his deck you are your own practitioner. You are your own healer. Like, I don't even understand why you sitting up there looking for other people to give you information. You know what you got to do. Like, stop. You understand? Like, <laughs> you already know what you got to do, baby. You already know what you have to do. You shed those skins for a reason. You got your warrior outfit on. You attack. It's time to attack and it's time to get into action and, and get into line for these blessings that God got for us. It's like, what, what, what are we waiting for? You know? What is this? Oh, this is the four of wands. This is the new foundations. It's time for you to move fast and furious. And it's something about the shamanic energy right here. You bring a certain sense of passion. A certain sense of healing. A certain sense of new life. Of creativity. You know? A refinery to you. It's time for you to like literally live in that ambiance. It's time for a certain level of commitment in your practice if that's what you're doing. Do you understand? If that's what you're doing and that's what you're good at. And if that's what you truly know is within your nature. And that is your raw animalistic spirit that lives within inside you. It's time for you to show some level of commitment to that practice. Because I feel like. Whoever has stepped in this realm before you, you're going to knock over their crowns. It's like the way that you carry your passion, the way that you carry your message, the way that you create new life and new vision with the way that you deliver is going to knock over the crown of everybody that stood before you because you came here to like... I've come to bring the darkness and the light. And it's no offense, but whatever, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, I've come to bring a new day. I've come to bring a new dimension to what has already been spoken. It's something about what you have set to do is to bring comfort, is to bring a sense of home, 
a sense of family, a sense of belonging, of love that people have not experienced in a very long time. And we need to get back to like the true structure and the true foundation of love and happiness and the old school rituals of us taking care of each other and just being united. You know what I'm saying? What happened to the true family? Like, I don't even, people really even do family reunions and stuff. Like, what happened to, like, the real matriarchs and the good, and, and the pawpaws of the, of the family? You know how everybody love papa, you know, grandpa and stuff like that? Like, I feel like our generation has freaking lost that. And it's something that this Scorpio, that this energy, that this light resides under. You have come here to knock down everyone that's made a profit off of bullshit as spirituality. Bullsh, fake family. Like, that's not real love. That's not real family. That's not real connectedness. That's not real roots. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show y'all how to really love, how to really be passionate. I'm going to show you how to really use your art. I'm going to show you how to, you know, bring your, it's like a sense of mysticism that you bring to your art and your craft. And it's like people gravitate to you to learn from this master. It's. You see how these, oh, and she's so beautiful. It's like um, a legion of queens. Like a legion of queens almost. Like, oh my goodness. These women are so different, but at the same time, it's like a legion of queens. And it's something about these roots and these, um, it's, it's, oh my goodness. It's firm. What you're teaching is things that's going to divide the faith from the real. You're creating the legion of queens. Then you got the four of swords. It's about a level of peace. It's about finding that level of tranquility. It's about finding that level of inner healing and oneness. To be able to fundamentally create this four of wands, this level of commitment, um, and finding marriage, and finding love, and finding family, and finding friendship, and finding these level of bonds, you have to find it first, these vibrations have to operate, and be living within thyself, and you have to be comfortable with thyself, and you have to be at one with thyself, in order to even send that out, and communicate that out to the world, and that's why it's like, we, and maybe, this is you with that Scorpio. These ones that, that, that sit there and that lay there and be stuck to their phone and they still looking for answers and they still fighting the old fight even though situations are over. That's us coming. People have called you. The, the grandmother have called you. The child has called you. Like, listen. What is this? This is the nine of pentacles, but this is in the reverse. You got the two of swords. You got the high priestess. What is this? This is the five of wands to stop fighting. This is the ace of wands. This is new birth. This is the three of wands for movement in the name of Jesus. Yes, ma'am. Come on, Scorpio. Again. You are here to teach people that don't know their value, that don't understand their way, that don't get the true fundamental principles of why certain things take so long to build and to rebuild. Do you understand? It takes, it took more than a few days uh, for... What I say, something about building Rome, they ain't built Rome in one day or some shit like that. And it's going to take a little bit more than one day for them to tear it down if they're going to do it. But if you don't truly have that inner healing and that inner knowledge of self and the clarity of self and truly being able to be alone 
and look inside for the answers and not looking for an outside source to try to give you the answers you will always it will always take longer than you will ever expect it to get to where you're going you will always miss out on the true fulfillment of the success you would never fully see the true victory of what your life should be if you're always looking for someone else to give you some guidance to tell you the way you truly have to look at the man in the mirror you know because if you're looking for someone else to tell you what your own reflection should be people can tell you you could be any motherfucking thing people can tell you your reflection is just boo boo the fool and you'll believe it do you understand what i'm saying it's about your true inner value if you cannot sit here alone and be happy and be at peace and be at harmony with yourself. You can never find it from people else. You, you can never find it from somewhere else. Do you understand? People will always take advantage of you. You will always have unfortunate events that will constantly and constantly and constantly and constantly. It's like you're, you're your own self saboteur because you don't know you. You got to... Be smart. You got to be strong, even if it takes a long time. Because you know what? Elephants don't move that fast. But they're one of the smartest animals, one of the most spirited animals, one of the most highly worshipped animals on this planet. I don't care what native tongue. In every crevice, in every crack of this world, there's someone that represents elephants as almost a sacred god. One of the most beautiful animals that you've ever seen even this ivory tusk is something it's poached from it unfortunately you know but I mean ivory ivory it's a certain level of clarity and, and, and truth and um abundance that you possess you have to tap into that inner wisdom that third eye do you see how that face is right there that third eye you need to look in the mirror and really recognize who you are and see that strength even if you're very very tiny it's like your presence is that of a high priestess? Is that of a worship God? You know, not to kind of put you on that level just like spiritually though. You know what I'm saying? You have a certain level of inner wisdom, a certain level of knowledge. If you just truly tap in and know your inner truth. Like, do you really see that in you? Do you see how people gravitate to you? Do you see how people tell you their innermost secrets and they think that you have this mystical remedy that's going to help them heal their life, but for some reason you can't figure out how to heal your own. But now it's the time for you to face yourself and you need to recognize, why am I looking for everyone else to tell me about me and what I can do for me when everyone's running to me to tell me about them and I can help everyone else in the world, but it's time for me to go within. Again, that high priestess. To be able to see thyself. Then I can truly make change of the world. Then. And only then. Can I truly. Be who I'm destined to be. The nine of cups. The nine of coins in the reverse. That's someone that lays there and allows. Their self to be easily manipulated. And taken advantage of. To be stolen, to be robbed, to be trudged upon. You know what I'm saying? To be used. Gullible. Mm -mm. You got the five of wands in the reverse. You don't compare what you don't compete with. When you have a certain level of enlightenment, a certain level of oneness with yourself. And you stop fighting unnecessary fights. Baby, that's when that five of wands in the reverse will turn to that ace of wands. And you can be reborn. And you can start your new path. So that you can truly see your new vision, baby. There go the dragon. There go the lizard. I forget which lizard is in the um, elevation, evolution of the, of the Scorpio. But y'all have to Google that. It's like, it's the scorpion, it's a snake, it's like two different birds. I want to say it's like a falcon, and then it's the phoenix, and it's some type of lizard, but I forget what type it is, but it's like, 
We're an amazing, amazing breed of people. We have a certain, even though we're water sign, we have a certain fire in us. You know, very fiery. This is also a card of new beginning. New beginning and new direction. And it's a card of action. And it's a card of moving and leaving everything behind. And moving forward towards your new future. And your new beginning. The gnosis, the unknowing. Someone here was just so comfortable of keep looking into the past. And not being in the present. And pulling those swords out. And fighting a fight that isn't even there anymore. Instead of using their emotions to see that even though time is limitless, time is not of our own. There's time within time within time. There's a world within a world within a world. There's a certain level of alignment and it's time for you to get up and it's time for you to stop fighting and it's time for you to be rebirthed and give action in the appropriate way, not in that way. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let me get... It says, my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missed. So the true soul partner, the person that you are truly meant to be with, they can't chase you. They can't come to you if you're still stuck looking into past memories of the past. You know, it's time to get in to the present. So that we can walk into the known, the unknown, into the future. It says, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. You know, it's time for you to get up. Allow these things to be dead and gone and have passed. Do not compare what you don't compete with. We know that you ain't no punk bitch. We know that you... Have no problem with defending yourself, but stop defending yourself from the past existence that's not even here anymore. You know, if you need to take some time to heal, I understand that, but I don't feel like it's, I mean, I feel like you you, you should have healed. You've laid there long enough that you should have healed. I feel like you're just still looking back at old hurt wounds because you're just used to doing it. It's time to get all of this is saying get up. Move now. Now. It's like now. <laughs> now, you know? Absolutely right now. Let's see. My beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missed. There's someone that's trying to get to you, my dear. But they can't get to you. If you won't officially ends what has already ended do you understand officially ends what has already ended okay y'all want me to read a damn book i ain't trying to read no book the two of hearts new love oh i beg your pardon two loves represents new love new friendships new just like partnerships and relationships that just make you comfortable and just make you feel balanced in regards to um you feeling beautiful it represents you getting advances from like admirers from from new suitors and things like that things that you don't really expect things that really make you feel like i say Beautiful. The two of hearts represents love, affections, emotions, a child, pregnancy, expectancy, a pet, emotional, exciting, talent, artistic ability, loving exchange, a love letter, good news, you know, but this had to happen after you recognize that a karmic situation that you experienced that you had to let go needed to subside for a reason, the six of spades. This says there's a reason they're called lessons because they lessen from day to day. The six of spades is like the death card. Okay? 
The six of spades, traditionally a card of completion, the end of one phase and the beginning of a next, a permanent ending, a situation or a relationship that has run its course, the need to let go, releasing what no longer serves, a parting of ways, moving on to something new, making progress, a moving force, a move to a new residence, a mode of transportation, a car, a truck, a bus or a train. Again, like I said, transportation. You got the king of clubs which the king of clubs is someone that you could look at as a fire sign I look at the king of clubs as a mix between a fire sign and an earth sign so it can be um, an Aries Leo Sagittarius or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn it says don't be nervous or I'll have you executed on the spot <laughs> That sounds like a fucking Aries or a Capricorn. <laughs> so basically, what this person is, is expressing to you, this is the king of a club. So, throughout all of this transitioning, you letting go, clearly you have elevated to a certain level of where you're around kings, where you're around a certain level of hierarchy. And like you said, don't be nervous or I'll have you executed on the spot like they don't have time look ding ding they don't have times for people that are unsure of each other don't know what they want don't know their position in life don't really know what they want don't aren't sure if they deserve to be around this level of upper crust upper echelon like you're sitting amongst leaders so if you sitting all nervous and stuff like that and you acting like you're not sure if you need to be here, then you can like you have to keep yourself very astute and aware of your position and of your title. And if you a boss, act like it. You understand what I'm saying? You can't be down in the reception pool chitting and chatting around with all of the rest of the workers like you a regular worker if you a boss you need to carry and you need to act like it you know what i'm saying so everything happened for a reason you're around kings now so you need to be present and be aware of the fact that you're around kings because the type of energy and the type of people that you're attracting right now at this level into this Gnosis into the unknowing. If you're not sure of yourself, they're just going to get rid of you. It's no this pansy little back and forth bullshit like how we used to deal with low vibrational fuck shit in the past. These are kings. They want a queen. They don't want nobody stuck in the past and all this bull. No. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is a different level. That's why things are moving. You understand? That's why things are moving and you are moving into the presence of the one. And when you get around the one, the one is going to want you to know that you're the one. Look, the ace of spades, they go to death card again. Endings for new beginnings for the better. It says, who am I? Will I remember if I can? I told you. Who am I? Will I remember if I can? Do you know who you are? Don't be nervous or I'll have you executed on the spot. You apply for this position. You said that you wanted to be amongst kings, amongst royalty, because you feel like that's what you deserve. You want a new love on a new level. So it's time for you to assert yourself. Who am I? Will I remember if I can? And again, this is 444. This represents the death card. It says traditionally the death card, but rarely a physical death. The death and rebirth. An ending in a new beginning. Transformation. A major life change. The skull, the mind, an important decision that brings change. Worry, anxiety. Because this person is letting you know. Make sure that you really want to be here and that you're ready for this. You know what I'm saying? Do you really feel like you're worthy? I'm trying to tell you. Let this shit go so that we can move on. If you continue to lay here with the ten of swords, continue looking at the past with an unwillingness to let it go and fighting 
with an existence that isn't even there anymore. It's like fighting with your own imagination with some shit that happened in the past that is over. If you want to stay there, then you're not ready. You will be nervous when you're amongst kings. And they will have you educate, uh, educated. Yeah, you will be educated on what it's like to be amongst kings. You know what I'm saying? This is like almost someone that... It's like you're ready, your mind, your body, your soul is ready to be with winners. But it's like you want to continue to focus your energy on the mindset of losers because it's just what you used to instead of educating yourself for what it's like to win. You want to win inside of the street now. Let that shit go. Let it go. You know, let it go. The three of hearts. I said it very loud and clear. I went and shouted it in his ear, the three of hearts. This is new. This is not anything that you used to. That's why the death card came to wash away all of that old past shit. Stop looking at it. Stop thinking about it. It's over. So stop living in it. New. This is even like a new home. New furniture. You know? All of this is good. Good. It's like they're trying to sh shout this in your ear. The two of hearts. This is new. These are kings. These are not jacks. You know what I'm saying? Like these are not what you used to. Let me go into the three of hearts for you real quick. The three of hearts. The three of hearts represents love, beauty, happiness, a new love relationship, create creative talent, artistic ability, creative achievement such as poetry, artwork, fertility, blood in life, prayer, religion, a growing embryo, increase in something beautiful such as blooming flowers, a developing love affair, a growing child, a small celebration, a job promotion. Do you understand what I'm saying? So again, like I said, a job promotion, like you've been advanced. You've advanced. This is something that you've been praying for. This is, you've had the death card here, you've had it here, and you've had it here. You've had new love, child expectancy, rebirth, new love, expectancy, rebirth. Amongst kings. What is this? Is this the, the nine of diamonds? Then you got the nine of diamonds. Come on now. The nine of diamonds represents wish granted. Like literally every single thing that you've been praying for. That you've been hoping for. That you've been dreaming for. It's like you're living on this like emotional and spiritual high. It's just like using your intelligence and your wit and your worth. Like once you all have, you know, nines represents you, you understand what I'm saying? Once you have a clear knowing that you are the nine of diamonds, that that's what you bring on your own. It says one side will make you grow taller. The other side will make you grow shorter. Once you decided what you wanted to be, knowing that you had the power to do what you wanted to do, you did and you created what you wanted to create. And this is you being successful in just acknowledged for it. So let me see. The nine of diamonds. Extra money. A check. A bonus. The brain. Mental energy. Psychic ability. Imagination. Electricity. Electromatic energy. Other people's wishes and desires that affect or influence the current. Fame. Celebrity. Public office. Baratic red tape when surrounded by unfavorable cards. No, that's not around unfavorable cards but it's you using your mental your psychic like I said your spiritual regardless of what other people's influences or wishes were around you you using your intellect and your sense of value they say extra money a check a bonus you understand fame celebrity like I said wish granted Ultimate success. You retrieving every 
freaking thing that you expected to see to to receive in this world and in this earth because someone finally looking at their sense of value and like I said that shaman energy you are the healer these other people can't heal you <laughs> not say I mean I'm not trying to sound cocky or nothing but it's you these stop looking to other people to give you the answer baby what is this the eight of hearts the eight of hearts represents mutual feelings mutual attraction this is you literally changing your life and finding your own sense of success your own money like I said this your own money you're not looking for nobody to give you nothing. You don't want nobody that is looking for you to give them anything. You want it to be mutual. Mutually beneficial. You understand what I'm saying? I love you. You love me. I look at you as my world. And you look at me as you as the same. You understand what I'm saying? Our connected hearts, we finally found each other. One would hardly suppose that your eye was as steady as ever. You understand what I'm saying? It's like... After everything that you went through, one would have never hardly supposed that your eye would have been as steady as ever for you to actually grace and let your eyes fall on someone that is exactly just like you. Everything that you've ever asked of, everything that you've ever dreamed of. Listen, the eight of hearts. Eight of hearts. Come on now. What the hearts said, baby? The eight of hearts. Mutual feelings, happiness comfort sharing with another togetherness working together a couple emotional connection emotional balance warmth enjoyment relaxation relaxation protection new beginnings three of wands like being determined to move forward and leave all of that old unhappiness, all that bullshit on that old phone. Burn that old phone. Get rid of that shit. Upgrade that bitch. Remember, we said upgrade. Being promoted. You know what I'm saying? Being recognized. Fame. Happiness. You understand what I'm saying? You got enough money to get you a new phone. Burn that shit. Look, firm foundation. The four of wands. You understand? You are in a legion of queens. Remember I said that? So listen, you better know who the fuck you are when you come up on this one. Because if you don't know who you are, this person is going to be able to see that. Don't be nervous or I'll have you executed on the spot. If you don't want the part of you, don't recognize that you have come all of this way to be amongst a legion of queens and to carry yourself like royalty. Then you don't deserve to be here. Then you need to go back over there. You understand? You need to go back over there. Back over there. It's time for new. It's time for now. It's time for right now. It's time for right freaking now. Let me get one more card and we up out of here, Scorpio. Did I use every deck? No, I didn't. Still got two I didn't use. You did it because I don't want this to be too long. All right, give me one last. Okay, what's this? The messenger. Cyrus energy. Bring harmony and balance. Like I said, you have been here. and You've been brought forth to be the messenger. You are the one that is supposed to show people light and depth and transformation. So if you can help other people, it's time for you to help yourself and really to step into that shaman energy. It's really time for you to be the messenger. And here, like you already know that that's the light that the Lord put on you. You already know that. So it's like if you can do it for everybody else, it's time for you to truly do it to yourself and get that tar off of those swords and really pull that shit up out of your chest. And I don't ever want to see this card on our table ever again for Scorpio. I am not playing because I have not seen this card ever in a long time. You are the phoenix. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, we bring death and we bring light. We bring balance. We bring cleans cleansing. You understand? This is what you pray for. All of this shit. This here. Someone that knows he's a king and expects you to be the queen. And he wants a queen. And somebody's on his level. That's what you've been praying for. That's what you've been praying for. Receive this message and allow it to transform. Scorpio, I love you. Ooh. Amen. Peace. <laughs>